Hello and welcome to Fork in the Road, a place where you can get options if you meet that fork in the road. My name is Matthew Tate and today I am joined by Vicky Kirst. Welcome, Vicky. I'm inspired to uh, interview Vicky because we are currently doing an NLP course together over the last week and I get to hear her story. And she has written this amazing book, How to Bullyproof Your Child. Now, we all know that in schools, bullying is a massive issue with bullying leading to depression and anxiety and even worse can lead to suicide. And Vicky has created this amazing book which is a how-to guide in getting connected with your child you may not even know what's going on at school your child's not going to share everything with you this is the path back it's a path with the tools it's a path with the methods and it's a path to connect back with your child and give them what they need to get through so welcome Vicky Thanks, so the best place to start is to why did you put together this amazing program well, Matt, it's something that I felt compelled to do. It, after seeing the devastating effects of my best friend's daughter and where that led her, I felt that I had to be putting this program together. She was very badly bullied at school. Mm. Like I said, I just felt compelled to do something and to get something out there to help other parents. Mm. Devastating, yeah. Mm. And so uh, the sort of problems that she had uh, that when she was bullied at school, so obviously very emotional. So this is an amazing guide for a beginner. Uh, to deal with those emotions uh, using the latest in neuroscience moving forward. So can you share any stories of the kids and parents uh, who have gone through this program and how they've overcome this? Well Matt, they're, really there are more kids going through bullying at the moment than I can really tell stories about. Mm -hmm. Statistics are saying that in fact one in four school children between years nine and years four and years nine are being bullied mm -hmm. at least once a week, mm -hmm. sometimes more often. My best friend's daughter was a prime example of that, unfortunately. Um, mm. you know, and what's even more staggering is that uh, parents, a lot of parents aren't even aware that their children are being bullied. Mm. And, but sadly, also, most parents don't even know what to do about it. Mm, absolutely. No, it's a big problem. And you go into your bedroom as a kid, and that was your sanctuary, right? And uh, it was always a place you could escape if there was any dramas at school. Yeah. So what are the problems kids are having as a result of these bullying problems? Well, it can play out in kids in, in various different ways, and some of the most common ones are the fact that they get very anxious and mm. withdrawn. Mm. Um, often they don't want to attend school. Right. You know, they have uh, things like belly aches, you know, and mm. headaches, and they say that they don't have any friends. But unfortunately, what can happen is this will impact on their education mm. and their future. Yeah. Their entire futures will be affected. Um, the feelings that of, of being bullied and these feelings of anxiety can actually increase by the time they get to high school and can become even more serious with depression and sometimes that can even turn into suicide. Wow. wow. Is, yeah, and you know, some some uh, children are even attempting suicide in primary school. Yeah, yeah we've heard a few famous yeah. stories like that on the yeah, news. Yeah, so how where, sad you know, is that? That's just, just devastating. Yeah. So it seems that parents are blind to this problem. Uh, so, you know, basically, it's, <laughs> Like when I was a kid, I was bullied too, and I could always go back to my bedroom to hide, you know, whereas now it comes into the bedroom via social media. That's the big problem. So they don't have that luxury anymore, and because the phone is always with them, it's always attached to their, their psyche, to their brains, yeah. to their, in their hands. So what advice would you give parents to give, check up on their, their kids' mental health? Well, you know, the thing I'd strongly advise parents is to just keep their kids off the internet and their phones as long as possible. Mm. Um, definitely don't allow them to have their phones or internet access into the bedrooms because, right. you know, parents can't monitor. Mm. And unfortunately what happens is the kids don't have internal filters. Mm. So they believe a lot of what's going on and what's said to them. Right. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the, the internet now is allowing bullies to come into the home. Mm. And parents need to be very mindful of this. Mm, mm. So to look out for the signs of your child becoming withdrawn yeah. or non-communicative. You know, and, and the best thing to do is to try and keep open communication between your child and yourself. It's really so important. Yeah, well, when I read this, I could certainly see that that was a connecting point. It was There's no question you'll become connected by going through Absolutely. this. Yeah. So the activities in your program have videos and lots of uh, activities in there. It's step by step for the parent so they know what to do and they can go through it before they engage with their child. 
So, what stories do you have uh, of exa- examples of parents going through the program and the activities? Well, I've tried to make the activities in the book um, very well in the program very fun, so mm. parents will have fun doing it, and the kids will have fun doing it with mm. the parents. I remember particularly um, this little guy called Sam. He wanted to do the superhero activity. Right. Sam, you know, he's, he's such a cute kid, but he's really quiet and really shy. But he wanted the attributes of his uncle, who was really, really funny. Right. And what happened was we did the, his mum did the superhero activity on him. And um, Sam actually, his mum rang up a couple of days after he'd done the activity, and she said, he's funny. You know, he's, he's become more outgoing, <laughs> he's right. cracking jokes, and he's never, ever done that before. So, you know, it, it just made huge changes with him. And, you know, how amazing is that? Yeah. That there's a program that can do that for your child. So I know you were talking about building, building that inner sort of resilience, you know, and that's what that's doing. It's yeah. giving them a tool, it's giving them perhaps a personality shift towards who they really are. Yeah. yeah. So, right. yeah, it seems evident this, this program fosters connection with parents, as I said before. Yeah between uh, that parent and child that can be lost, right? Yeah, absolutely. The program does encourage a real connection Mm. between the parents and their children. Mm. Because of the quality time that they're spending together, it's a real bonding process. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Mm. Well, that's amazing. So let's look at the uh, program itself. So in here we've got rapport. Uh, We've got the keys to the program. I notice you've got different activities. The magic spot, uh, jumping into a new state. Uh, the circle of power. I did it the other day. The circle of power. <laughs> now I have it. Oh my god! You want to put some juice in your in your day? Oh my god! Use the circle of power. That I did that, and I was like, you know, I nearly uh, missed my. I got on the train the other day, and I nearly went back the other way because I was too busy in the circle of power. Um, Funny. Uh, guess my feelings. Uh, superhero, Treasure Island, and mind reading. So I love all the titles. So why seven keys? What, what's all about? Why not? Why, Why not, not, Matt? Why not? There's a belief that seven is a lucky number. Right. Oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's and while great. that's quite lighthearted, yeah. and but within those seven activities, the child will learn all the skills that they need to build resilience. Right. Yeah. And that's not a belief. That's a truth. Right. Fantastic. So you're building that belief into the children, so that when they leave your hands, you are not. They're not lost. They're they're, they're, strong. they're strong. And you know they can handle the that's world. That's correct. Yeah. So is there anything else uh, about the program you'd like to share? Yeah, absolutely. I'd really like to emphasise the importance of building resilience before it's needed. Mm. My friend's daughter had the program when she was in primary school. Mm. Chances are she wouldn't have suffered the way she did. Mm. Wow, that's amazing. Um, And it's proactive. Yeah. You know, it's actually getting in there and doing it. And it's so important that every parent realises that they have the responsibility to their children to teach them life skills. Mm, absolutely. And they often don't have those skills, and that's what that's this so does. It actually gives you those skills. Yeah, that's right. Well, Vicky, that is an amazing tool, amazing program. I love the circle of power, and I went through and did it myself. Uh, any adult can actually use this on themselves as well, but it's, it's a connector between children and parents. It's a check-in, uh, and it also builds those stronger skills that they need. Yeah. So is there any yeah. sort of final comments before uh, you'd like to um, go today? Well, if anybody would like to find out more about it, I uh, have a website, which is www.bullyproofed.com.au. Mm-hmm. On the front page, you can click to receive a free ebook, which mm-hmm. is a condensed version of that. Mm-hmm. Also, it gives you access to a 35-minute video presentation where you'll find out so much more information about the program. Fantastic. Yeah. So, what an amazing program. Thank you, Vicky, for joining me today. Thanks, and go to Bullyproof, uh, how to bullyproof your child. The, learn the seven steps to for your child to thrive so welcome to the bullyproof program uh, I, I hope you enjoy it it's i really enjoyed this book it's amazing thank you vicky and uh, Thanks, look forward to seeing the results of more children who are growing in resilience thank you thank, thank you so much. Okay.